Welcome to our hula hooping tutorial for this fun mandala, which we will begin using three hula hoops and then four. What's up, hoopers? Welcome back to the Sacred Flow Art channel, where we're dedicated to bringing you an ever increasing amount of quality and quantity with each video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time a new video comes out. Two new tutorials every week in 4K. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for a quick update on what's been going on in our lives. Jesse and I are driving around the world and we're about to move on onto the next chapter. Today we're going to be going over a hula hoop mandala trick or a flower. It's a still trick, so we're gonna be holding the hoops for this one. And you'll need at least three of the same sized hula hoops or relatively the same. Also, if you have a fourth hula hoop, I'll be showing you how to incorporate that in it as well. Let's get started. So here is the four hoop mandala, and we're gonna be going over the three hoop mandala first and then incorporating the fourth hoop. To get your own set of hula hoops, head over to the Sacred Flow Art website and order yours. Start by resting your extra hoop or hoops at your thighs and bring the other two hoops, resting them over your shoulders. So you don't even have to use your hands. Then, grab your third hoop and flip it around your back. So it's gonna to touch the hoops behind your back and we're gonna to want to bring it behind the head with our elbows poking through, kind of like we're wearing it like a backpack. And then we can let go with our hands, extending our hands out straight or grabbing the outer hula hoops and pressing them out. This is the three hoop mandala. Play around with the shapes and see if you can bring that backpack hoop up and around again in front of your body, resting the two outer hoops on your shoulders, and then opening the arms out again, extending it back out into the three hoop mandala. Bring that middle hoop back up around and in front, and now let's bring in the fourth hoop. To avoid any confusion, since we do have three hoops around our bodies right now and we're incorporating a fourth, Let's come out all together and start from scratch. So we've got two hoops over our shoulders, flipping one over, wearing it like a backpack. Now we're gonna reach down and grab that fourth hoop. Flip it over like a backpack, only don't bring it behind your head. Reach down and grab the outer two hoops and then hook the top hoop with your thumbs. So we're gonna be holding onto three hoops with our two hands and pressing them up and out. Arms open like a cactus for the most comfortability. Now let's do this again. Bring that top hoop out and around, and I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what's going on behind me. Flipping that top hoop back kind of like a backpack, but instead grabbing the outer hoops and holding them out with that top hoop. You should be able to feel where the two side hoops meet right behind your head. And see if you can straighten your arms out a little bit further. This will make the mandala even bigger. Play around with it. Have fun, practice twirling, and find ways to incorporate this into your regular hoop flow. Thanks for practicing with me today. And stay tuned for a lot. We have so much in the works for you right now. For one, we're about to launch the Sacred Flow Art Memberships where we'll be offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, private group classes, and other exclusive perks. Also, did you get the big news? Jesse and I are about to have a baby while driving around the world. On that note, we're about to embark on the next big leg of our journey, leaving this beautiful town of San Jose, Costa Rica, and headed to the Caribbean coast. From there, we'll be finding the means of ferrying our Yoda home camper from Panama to Colombia. We'll see you around the world.